China has done it again, another year, another next-gen iPhone clone. This time it's of the soon-to-be iPhone 6S, and it comes in pink. Well, to be clear, the clone comes in pink, and yes, there are rumors that the iPhone 6S will have a pink option, but those are just rumors. <laughs> Speaking of rumors, here's a quick rundown of iPhone 6S rumors. The rumor mill has spun up a very similar design as the 6, as the S line usually is, a new A9 processor, 2GB of RAM, an improved camera that supports 4K recording, force touch, and new colors. There could also be a smaller 4-inch 6C version, but that's very unconfirmed. Now onto this pink iPhone 6S clone. You order it straight from China and it costs less than $150, I'll leave the link below. And this is no regular clone. This is a scary good look-alike of the iPhone 6S. On the outside, it looks exactly like what you would expect a pink iPhone to look like. The only difference being the gold trim on the camera and Apple logo and around the home button. Personally, I think Apple would pair the pink with silver. It doesn't stop there though. Not only does it look the part, it feels the part. The metal has the right texture, the buttons are tactile, and it even weighs the same as the iPhone 6. Taking a look on the inside, it's rocking a quad-core 1.3 gigahertz CPU, 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigabytes of storage, and a 2000 mAh battery. While those specs might seem underpowered in today's Android phone market, in terms of an iPhone, they're not bad at all. But keep in mind, while low power specs may run iOS with ease, this phone is running a very heavily skinned version of Android. This skin on Android is a scary good lookalike of iOS, and I mean a scary good lookalike. While it is noticeably slower, the lock screen looks the same, home screen looks the same, has the same animations, even the same dynamic wallpaper. It's actually much easier to focus on the differences. Apps like WhatsApp and WeChat come installed by default. The App Store icon is really just the Google Play Store reskinned. And then in the Settings app, it still has things like the Touch ID section, even though the phone doesn't actually have a fingerprint scanner. By now, I've made it clear that this is a really good lookalike, but does it do its job of being a usable smartphone? At first, my answer to this question is easily a no, but then you have to keep in consideration it's less than $150, so it's not competing with iPhones and other flagship Android phones. But even with the low price tag, the phone is just too slow and laggy to use as a daily driver. Yes, the iOS lookalike skin over Android looks like iOS and it serves a purpose of being an iOS clone, but it also slows the phone down a lot because it's a lot of stuff over Android. There are other options under $200 like the Moto E or the Moto G that will run Android, nearly stock Android, really fast and it won't feel like you're using a super slow phone like it does with this knockoff. So it should be left as the iPhone 6S clone and it should not be an independent phone that you consider buying. That's it for this video. Just a quick look at this pink iPhone 6S clone. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, stay classy.